How Investors Benefit from the Rebalancing Feature of a Balanced Fund Balanced Fund is a portfolio which has exposure to the two primary asset classes, equity and debt. The equity allocation is at least 65% so that the investor gets benefit of equity tax treatment and the capital gains from funds held for over 12 months is tax free. The equity market goes through bull phases and bear phases and phases of volatility. Similarly, debt markets go through their own cycles. Balanced funds use rebalancing to benefit from these cycles. Let us take a scenario where one invests rupees 100 in a balanced fund. So 65 of that goes into equity and 35 in debt. When the equity market does well, say the value of equity investments move from rupees 65 to rupees 84 and debt investments to rupees 36. So now the total investment value becomes 120 and we see that the allocation to equity has increased to 70% and debt reduced to 30%. The fund is rebalanced and brought back to 65% equity and 35% debt. Profits are booked in equity and the proceeds are invested in debt to rebalance. Similarly, when the equity market is in the bear phase, see the value of equity investments goes down from Rs. 65 to Rs. 54 and debt investments to Rs. 36. So now, the total investment value becomes 90 and we see that the allocation to equity has reduced to 60% and debt increased to 40%. The fund is rebalanced and brought back to 65% equity and 35% debt. This time money is moved from debt to equity to rebalance. Ravi and Rocky both want a portfolio mix of 65% equity and 35% debt. Ravi decides to use the balanced fund route whereas Rocky decides to do it himself with a combination of equity and debt fund. For Ravi, since the fund manager manages the asset allocation in a dynamic manner, it happens automatically for him. He does not need to do anything. But Rocky must constantly keep a tab on the asset allocation and rebalance regularly. Chances are that he might miss it at times. Every time rebalancing happens, there is no tax implication for Ravi at all. However, Rocky has to constantly keep tab of all the transactions and there is tax implication depending upon asset class he is selling and its holding period. Additionally, Ravi does not have to bear any exit loads at the time of rebalancing, which Rocky will have to incur if the holding period of his investments is not adequate. The rebalancing feature of balanced funds helps to buy more equity at lower levels and sell when the market is high. It also automates the process of buying selling or selling buying for the investor. Additionally, it saves on taxes and exit loads which adds to the overall returns to the investor. Rebalancing is a perfect two-in-one balance for the investor. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.